What is going on everybody? Crazy VR here. Today I'm bringing you guys a 30 and 13 gameplay from Black Ops 2 on Studio. I'm using an MSMC if you want to see the class, pause the video. Um, but about the gameplay, I'm playing a free-for-all and I know it's against snipers and stuff so it, makes the, it takes a little bit away from the gameplay but I just felt like this was a nice fast-paced gameplay so uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, today's topic is more Black Ops 3 news. Um, so, first things first, toughness is gone. Uh, and some of you guys who love to use toughness, like me, when I first saw, saw this, I started panicking. I'm like, I'm gonna hate this game, there's no toughness. But, it's okay. There's built-in toughness, so you no longer need a perk. It's only about a half the kick, half the flinch when you get hit, instead of, uh, the full flinch, uh, without toughness versus the no flinch with tough or like little flinch with toughness so what it's going to be is it's built in and it's like only your gun only kicks up halfway so it's not as bad uh, I thought it was going to be terrible but it's okay next thing is score streak system score streak system is going to be like advanced warfare and black ops 2 so it's good because if you still play advanced warfare you're used to it or if you're back on Black Ops 2, you're used to either of the score streak systems, which is good. And another thing that I'm really psyched about, no support. Your score streaks reset upon death. Because I think support was just catering to the bad players, and that's not very fair at all to the good players. Or I think if they do do a support system, it should only be like UAVs, maybe counter UAVs. There shouldn't be like recon drones and stuff like that. Stuff that hurts the good players in there. Um, another thing is Titanfall style movement. I know I'm kind of late on this one, but the Titanfall style movement. Uh, so from what I've heard, it sounds like there's going to be wall running, but you don't have to use your exosuits if you don't want to because the game is built for both players, exosuit or no exosuit, which I'm psyched about. Um, because I think wall running sounds like it's a cool idea, but if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Um, Advanced Warfare has the classic mode, and it's not that good because the maps are built to play with an exosuit. So if they had maybe designed the maps both ways, then it would have been better. Um, and I think Treyarch had that in mind when they started developing this game two or three years ago. When um, when Sledgehammer came to them with the idea about exosuits, they were like, okay, well we don't know how it's going to go over yet, so why don't we design it both ways so both players can do it. So I'm happy about that because that means that if you, I don't want to use an exosuit, I don't have to. Um, I mean, you're gonna have it on, but if you don't really want to take advantage of it, that's okay because you don't have to. So that's a huge relief on my part. Uh, on like, I think that's gonna make the game sell a little bit better. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it won't. That's not really up to me to determine. I'm still gonna get the game. If I don't like it, worst case scenario, I can return it or trade it in or something. And I'll just go back to Black Ops 2 or Advanced Warfare. But I really think if this Call of Duty is bad, it's going to kill Call of, the Call of Duty series and we're all going to have to find a new game to play. And I'm leaning towards Battlefield if Call of Duty dies out. So I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. I want Black Ops 3 to come out. I'm tired of Advanced Warfare. I can play it. I can tolerate it. But I just want a new game. Um... I'm hoping the weapons are more like how they were in Black Ops 2 um, rather than more towards how they were in Advanced Warfare where there's guns that speed up as you shoot them aka the bow um, and there's a lot of different unbalanced guns and I hope the weapon balance is really good like it was in Black Ops 2. So what do you guys want to see from Black Ops 3? I really would like to know. Um, I made a wishlist video a while ago and <clears throat> I'd just like to know your guys' opinions on if this, if you think this is going to be good with the news I just brought to you, or if you think it's going to be bad and it's going to shit the bed. So, comment that down below. I'd really like to know. But, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Crazy VR. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.